hi everybody welcome to our new video today we're going to show you how to boost your wife internet so what we did we got two uh you know dish cables you know these cables so these wires we put them here uh we try to we put them we created what they call a wifi gun so it's facing in that direction also the cuttings might affect your what your 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 signal so here we did not make we did not do a very very good job but we did something which can help us to boost our what our signal so these are measured in space here is some certain centimeters which are made and also here and here the distance and here so these 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 are uh, what discs they are not the same you can see how they are so we created a video to show how to create this but it's it it works it's genuinely working so so what we do we want to uh, show you the speed we get and also what else did we do to achieve what we have achieved you understand but all, anyway you can use anything which is easier for you to do so that's the thing we're trying to now i'm trying to adjust this to see that we get something better uh i want this to touch 100 percent to be touching and also you can see it's it's using two cables this one and this one so if both of them can touch well and they face in the right direction you might get a very good signal so you see the cutting was not good we're complaining about that because we did not have good machines to do that but anyway this can help you get a right speed uh one thing i don't want to do is to find this when it's not touching it should touch i'm finding my best to see it touching so i can i can put it this side and uh, uh you can see it's shaky shaky so what i want to do is to put it this side i'm trying to pull this to make it touch okay the best way is i think to pull it out a bit okay but it can affect the distance okay i think it's fine that way i also find this way i'm trying to yeah Think this is good okay uh, so something something we try to to do we done with this so I'm gonna show you other stuff we did to combine all of this to work well you get me so remember I have two cables one two and we use satellite dish cables you understand so okay let's go and show you what's going on so far we're gonna show you this the speed test then we're gonna show you what's going on what we did so look at the speed test you can see the speed test uh, upload speed is a little bit higher than the download speed so okay let's wait and see and sometimes the speed drops and also goes up so and sometimes the speed test uh websites we use some are, are showing the right things some are not showing the correct stuff so let's use the second one and see okay we go still go I wait for it to connect. Um, it's pinging. Then you can see. Okay, this one gave us something different, but they, 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 it's not that much of a difference. Okay, 
uh, you can see now we got two here and three here so it's not that bad you can see uh, I'm gonna go to the third one okay uh, let me say Google look how fast are the pages you can see a speed test speed test we can click here we tested one we tested the second one we're gonna go to this one you can see give it time we use different ones say start test Good. So you can see this gives us a little bit more than what we saw there. Uh, but also, you know, your speed goes up and sometimes down depending on the, you know, since it's a wireless thing, depending on the waves, there's no disturbance in the waves and stuff. Here we get 3.6 and here we get upload speed is 3.8. You can see that's not bad. Anyway, let me show you. Now what we did, we stripped the the modem, the modem, uh, you know, this normal modem, the, the, the B315. Uh, what we did, I want to show you, what we did, we put cables where the antennas are. We put cables, we, we showed in the previous video how we did this. Uh, you can see inside there is a cable and also in the middle also there's a cable the red cable sits in the middle so in that middle that's where we target the antennas this is the original antennas you can see where they are so so inside there's something like a pin on that pin on the motherboard it sits it's what we we did target in the motherboard but inside that but at that side of the of the modem so you come here and you can see how they are you can see how they are so we put down you can see there are four corners the fifth corner is inside the fifth watt wire is inside so that's what we did connect to you can see all the lights are fine so you see the first three lights are for the signal you can see the signal is what one two three you say on i'll show you and uh, all those uh, lights some show if you connected to any uh what cable any LAN cable you can see we put in the LAN cable so uh, so what we did also so after those cables we use those um those you can see these cables from the our what wifi gun then we connected it to we connected them to this you understand so we put them inside and make sure this touch this this place this place this cable inside touches this so we try to bypass and get some DSTV equipment these ones you understand so those are, are good to use so i'm gonna show you the modem we did strip out i'm gonna cover it again no problem you can see this is the same modem we did i think you know this modem is more it's very popular so you see the this is the modem we did strip out you can see how it looks like so uh you can find out that here these three one two three those are lights when you switch on the modem you will see them so those are the same lights you see there you get me the fourth light here this one shows if you connected to the one which is blinking you can see that one's the one which is blinking it shows if you connected to any LAN cable if you is inserted so another fifth light there which which is this one is for the wifi you can see so another seventh light there it shows if you have internet connection understand so the another light is for power you can see all those are the lights we see they understand so guys this is the way to boost your wi-fi uh 4g uh signal so you can do it on maybe a 3g doing the same trick i've done uh maybe you can also build your own self a different <clears throat> sorry antenna but these modems are easy tools they are easy to uh to modify they are not uh, something like a complicated technology, something easy. You can strip it out. You can use uh, uh, some equipment to put cables here. So you make sure you put them in a place whereby you're not going to touch, touch them. Why? Because the more you touch, 
the more they lose their attachment to the motherboard so that's why we did find out this whereby we're gonna just pin in them so we're gonna also customize this modem here we put holes here we put these uh, we plug in these so that every time when we want to change or maybe we modify our uh, antenna we can just screw them in uh, so that we don't have to detach every time the cable in there so we saw the speed and you saw the results try yourself something like this if you have a bad, a bad signal inside the house you know it's obvious you might not get something good so that's why we extended these to the outside area so that we get something better thanks for watching guys see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe